What's up guys, today we're going to be opening up something pretty cool and something unique that I've never opened up before. This is the Starter Deck EX, I think it's what it's called, something like that, Japanese. It came out in 1999, so two, no, three years before Legend of Blue Eyes was even released. So this is extremely old, it's over 20 years old. This is going to be really cool. And before we get started, the giveaway. I'll be giving away Gate Guardian, that's just a common, that's still really cool. A Red Eye Zombie Dragon Ultra Rare and an Ultimate Rare Master Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about this deck. If you've never seen it before, if this is your first time, or if you have knowledge about it, give me some tidbits because I'm not extremely knowledgeable about the OCG products, but I have had this for like a year or a few months or I don't know, it's been a while and I haven't opened it and decided this is the time. So it's going to be pretty fun. Let's go ahead and crack into it couple of things about this let's show the whole thing um yeah uh if you can't read japanese you're not gonna get much out of that but inside there is a secret rare card or, or parallel foil or whatever they call it there's one of those things it's either lord of d or one other card and then there's a blue eyes in here and then there's a dark magician the blue eyes is pop one and the dark magician is pop two so they're really tough because the way they're packaged you'll see when it's opened is not great and it's 21 years old at this point so it's pretty tough to pull them out in nice condition as well as they're just pretty rare so let's go ahead there is actually a reprint version it's called ex-r so that's the reprint this is the original not the reprint so let's go ahead and open this up i got this a while back here we go all right we're gonna we're gonna break the seal this is i've had this on the shelf for a while so i've enjoyed it but now it's time to open it up here we go let's see i've seen these come out extremely damaged i've also seen uh you know nicer nicer conditions so let's see if we can get one of the the nicer ones here we go 20 years old i've never opened up something 20 years old because you know i've opened lob but that was only 18 years old at the time of opening it okay here we go we took the wrapping off all right let's see what is inside this is gonna be pretty exciting because i don't remember exactly what's in here when i did do research on this it was when i first bought it so it's been a while okay we've got the Got the book. Oh, it's Flute of Summoning Dragon. See, Lord of D would have been a lot cooler, I think. But here we go. We have the manual. See, this is like old school. 1999. There's some, uh, that's pretty cool. Got some anime stuff. Yeah, so we got a cool little manual here. There's, oh, Dokuro Yaiba is in there. I mean, there's some really cool stuff. So this was, I guess, like the second year of Yu-Gi-Oh! in Japan. I think it was 1998. Okay, let's see. It's in a sleeve. So look, Japanese people know what they're doing. Oh, there's two cards in here. What is this? Oh, the Lord of D's in here too. Okay. Look at that. Okay, that just looks absolutely beautiful. And second of all, it's in great condition. I think Lord of D is low pop as well. So pretty much all the cards in here getting a PSA 10 is pretty tough. And this guy looks like he has a really good shot based on the centering. So that is extremely cool. Then we have the Flute of Summoning Dragon which also looks absolutely amazing. I mean, just check that out. Wow, okay, we're definitely sending those in. There's a little, okay, there's just something on there. I like how they put it in a sleeve. I, I respect that. The 1999 Japanese packaging was, was pretty good. Okay, so we got those. Those are absolutely beautiful. I wish the blue eyes came like that. That would be crazy. All right, now let's get into um, the rest of it. This is gonna be a little tough because they package this really tight. Let's go ahead and get all of this out of there without throwing anything okay you guys see how this is packaged there's two decks there's the dark magician and the blue eyes deck so you guys see it's only wrapped up in that little wrap this actually looks like it might be in good shape so we have the uh the decks or the deck things so let's just go ahead and put these back in there because these are just the mats you guys know what those look like we're gonna put these back in the box this box was in great condition which is why there's a little bit better chance to have nice cards so we have the blue eyes here all right, so we're gonna have to get these out very carefully. Oh, this is scary. Okay, try not to damage the surface. Let's just let it go like this. Yeah, so it doesn't like push along the surface. Okay. There's actually a few foils in here. So that is what it's packaged in. So if it, this gets like too tight or if it like sticks to it, it could really damage it. So let's see what the Dark Magician looks like. It is like, it seems like it's stuck to the back card. Okay, not too bad. Oh, you see that up there? Okay, there's a little little bit of stuff right there. You can see a little bit of a mark down there, but check this card out. Is that not awesome? The anime looking attack and defense. I mean, that is super cool. That's the LOB art. 
that's super that's actually pretty nice i think it might be a little maybe it's a little damaged right there overall this is pretty i think it may be even near men i gotta check on i gotta check it a little closely maybe see if we can get that off probably not but that's still pretty nice i believe i think this is how it goes with ocg the original art was sdk i think was the original art for the ocg and then they did the lob version in this the 1999 and in 1998 they had the um, sdk art yeah so this this looks pretty nice actually i'm pretty happy with that let's go through what the rest of the deck looks like we have two cards here they stick together because these japanese cards are super like glossy so the feral imp and the mystical elf are cool those are not hollows they're just super glossy we do have another foil here let's see if we can get this up we have a Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. So I don't really understand their logic of the foils here. So this is a super rare. But I mean, who doesn't want a Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress in super rare? What is that up there? That little dot? That's annoying. <laughs> it actually looks really good. Let's check the back. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, it's super clean. That, man, these are cool cards. Okay, the rest I think is not foils. So we have Summon Skull here and the Bevo Warrior. Just check out that Summon Skull. That's super cool. So I'm gonna go through these, but it's gonna be tough because they're so sticky. Like I can't, I can't just go through them like this easily. I guess I can. But let's try it. Okay, Gaia, the Celtic Guardian, and they're gonna stick together like this. So I'm sorry, Celtic Guardian. We're just gonna check these out. They are really cool. 20 year old Yu-Gi-Oh cards from Japan. That's really sweet. The uh, Great White or something like that. What is it called? Okay, we've got a uh, Silver Fang. These are actually all in great shape, it looks like, which is a good sign for the Blue Eyes deck. Giant Soldier of Stone. Zombie Dragon, is that what he's called? Doma, the Angel of Silence. Oh, we got another card. I can't remember this guy's name. It's like, it's one word, I think. Witty Phantom. I can't remember this guy's name either. This is like something about a claw. That's all I remember. Ooh, uh, oh, what is this guy called? Sort, sort of dark seated. No, that's the other one. That's this is a. I forgot. But it has a error artwork. There's the spell book of something. No, the uh, book of secret arts. I always forget that one too. Dark hole. Can't forget that. Yeah, this one was censored in the English version. So you can see they uh, the original version was a little bit more. Um, you know, what's the word for that? <laughs> They're showing more. Uh, showing more cleavage there. Then we have um, who the elf something. Ancient Elf, the Young Elf, Prince Elf, something like that. Fissure. Trap Hole. We're going to speed up a little bit. Two-pronged attack. Or three-pronged. No, two-pronged attack. It's that's a three-for-one, though. Yeah. <laughs> D-Spell. Monster Reborn. This is a really cool one. That one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleeve, sleeve this up. Because this is the art we didn't get until the, uh, the Lost Art promotion. So, really cool to see that one. Then we got a Reinforcements. Change of Heart. Ooh, Stern Magician or something like that. Wall of Illusion, the legend. Neo, the Magic Swordsman. Oh, I skipped one. Oh, this guy. Forgot his name. Something about a man-eating treasure chest. There we go. Forgot that one. Last Will. That's a different artwork, I think, too, than the English. I think it says, like, Last Will or something on in English. Wabaku. I don't know, I guess that just separates them. Is that supposed to be in there? I'm not sure. Trapmaster, someone can let me know in the comments. The Dragon Capture Jar, Yami. Man Eater Bug. What is this called? Reverse Trap? Yeah. Then there's Remove Trap. D Spell, D Spell. And um, Castle Walls or something? Yeah, this is a different artwork too. Uh, somebody actually sent me this the other day, yeah, on Instagram. And they were talking about how they like this artwork better. And it's, uh, you can see why. I mean, this is pretty bloody and. The English didn't want any sort of stuff like that. But that's still really cool. So that's pretty sick. That's the Yugi deck. Now we move on to the SDK deck. Let's see how the blue eyes looks. All right, let's see if we can get this out here safely. Oh, that one's not on there too tight at all. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. They both have that mark up there. Even the even getting a nine would be nice, but I think this top this top part has some weird cutting on it. But overall, a pretty nice card. I mean, maybe it could get a nine. It has a little scuff, and then the top is cut a little weird. Centering is not great on it, so maybe not. But overall, a pretty good condition one. It's not like damaged out of the pack, which is good. Just check that out. That is super cool looking. 
That's super cool looking. So the blue eyes looks pretty good. Let's see what the other foil is in this deck. We got Hitatsumi Giant. I forgot this one's name. Something about the Wicked Worm Beast. That's what it is. Battle Ox. Con Con Kaminari Dragon. Judge Man is a super rare. That's actually cool. Because Judge Man, like, I mean, Judge Man's in the anime a lot when that guy is actually the judge in Season 3 with Noah. That's actually pretty cool. That guy looks actually nice. Maybe you could grade. We'll definitely check that one out. All right, we got a rogue doll. I can't remember this guy's name. You, Robbie. I can never remember this one's name either. It's something crazy. It's like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was it. I nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Mystical Horseman. Terra the Terrible. Uh, I don't know his name. Oh, that's Secret Murderer. <laughs> if you guys remember, if you guys remember the fake card Secret Murderer, you know what I'm talking about. Expert. Master and Expert. That's what it is. Don't know that one. Or these. I, I remember them. Okay, that's Dark Energy, I think. I forgot this equip spell name. Dark Hole, of course. Ukazi. I'll never forget this one. I played with my little brother and he beat me using Ukazi. I was like, why are you using Ukazi? And then he won with it. It was, it was pretty funny. So, uh, Ryukish Empowered. Sword Stalker. Um, La Jin, of course. I almost forgot. Rude Kaiser. Ooh, I forgot that guy's name. He looks cool, though. Skull Red Bird. Ooh, there we go. That elf almost popped out of my hand. Pale Red, be Pale Red Beast. No. The Pale Beast. It's not red. Fissure. Trap Hole. Two Pronged Attack. D Spell. Monster Born. Another one. That's cool. Inexperienced Spy. Reinforcements. Something about telescope or something, I think. Just desserts. I got another one of these, so I guess they are supposed to be in there. Mysterious Puppeteer, I think. Trap Master, Sogan. Hain Hain. Reverse Trap. A remove Trap. D Spell, D Spell. Castle Walls. And another one of these. So they do have some similar cards in them, but overall, I mean, that's, that's some pretty cool stuff you can get out of there. Like, these Monster Reborns are awesome, and then, I, what is this card? Okay, I can't remember what, is this Ultimate Offering? This is Ultimate Offering, that's what it is. Because it looks nothing like the English art. The English art is like some dude chucking a dude over his shoulder or something like that. But in this one, it's a, it's this creepy, like, dude with the blood in his hands. I mean, it's really kind of scary. Alright, let's check out these foils that they give you. Which are, I mean, let's just take another look at them, they're really cool. Yeah, so you get six foils out of this box. You get a Winged Dragon, Guardian the Fortress. Honestly, it's pretty cool to have, like, a random monster like that as a foil. Dark Magician, of course. Pretty nice condition. The Judge Man. I mean, that is cool. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean, talk about epic. And then the two Seeker Rares. I actually think if the Blue Eyes and stuff were in these rarities, man, that would be super awesome. But these are really cool. I mean, just, they like really stuff that text on there, I feel like. But that is that was fun. I mean, I've had this on my shelf for a few months, so it was nice to actually finally open it. And I think I did pretty good because I think we can actually grade these cards and maybe get like nines maybe on some of them and even tens on some of the supers. So that should be pretty fun. We'll definitely put them in a PSA return video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe for 40,000. We're, we're like really close by the time you guys see this video, which is crazy. 40,000. We had 1,000 at the beginning of the year, which is nuts. So 40,000, we're going to do something cool. It might be a little late because uh, packages are getting delayed and stuff, but hopefully we can do it ASAP. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! <laughs>